Hey guys, I'm John with Tops and Brews, and today we might get a little hot in the studio. So, things might get a little spicy, a little hot today, as we are going to be checking out the complete lineup of Stone Brewing's hot sauce. Now, I know what you're thinking, John, you're a beer channel, you review beer not food. Ah, ah, all of these hot sauces have stone beer as an ingredient in them. Not just, oh, this hot sauce was inspired by this beer. No, there's actual beer as part of the ingredient in all of these hot sauces. Now, my brother Steve is frying us up some wings, and it's a very basic wing. There's no flavoring added to it whatsoever. The only flavor we will have is the sauce itself. We will then toss the wings in each individual sauce and try them out and let you know well, what it tastes like, what we think, if it's hot, if it's not. And if you're having wings, you have to have a beer. And today we're going to be having Stone's Fear Movie Lions Imperial Hazy IPA. So the sauces we have today are Stone's Tangerine Express IPA, the Arrogant Bastard Ale Hot Sauce, the Double Bastard Ale Hot Sauce, the Bourbon Barrel Aged Arrogant Bastard Hot Sauce, the Crime Hot Sauce, and the Punishment Hot Sauce. If you've ever had these two as just the beer, this Punishment Hot Sauce is probably one of the hottest beers I've ever had. If you can find it. I'll say I'm kind of looking forward to this Bourbon Barrel Aged one. I think that's going to be good. Don't know. We'll find out. Check them out. Stone Tangerine Express IPA Hot Sauce. Ingredients, Stone Tangerine Express IPA, Tangerine Juice, Apple Cider Vinegar, Habanero Chilies, Pineapple Juice, Distilled Vinegar, Honey, Tangerine Zest, Salt, Hexant, Crushed Red Peppers, Black Pepper, Ginger, Coriander Seed, and Xanthan Gum. Okay, so we have Stone's Tangerine Express IPA Hot Sauce. Try it. Let's go give it a shot. Alright. Mmm. Mm. It's sweet. I got a sweetness. Yeah. It does get that tangerine. I mean, I, I sense that's what tangerine. Yeah. It's not too hot. There is a, a little heat on the back end. It tastes just like black pepper heat. Mm -hmm. You know, like a lot of black pepper. Mm -hmm. I can see like a, a red chili flake in this. Mm -hmm. You know, I can almost use a little more. Yeah. I'm kind of like... I kind of want, I kind of want a little more flavor to it. There is a tangerine flavor there. There is a citrus flavor there. <clears throat> I think I kind of want to douse it a little bit more to get some more flavor yep. on it. I almost want more of a tomato, I guess. It, it's almost too sweet for me. I, I think it's too sweet for a hot sauce. It's good if you like milder hot sauce. I don't know if it's great for chicken. Maybe if you like an orange chicken. Yeah, maybe like an orange okay. chicken. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. It's not bad. Not my favorite, but pretty good. Yeah. Arrogant Bastard Ale Jalapeno Heat Hot Sauce. Few are worthy of this sauce. Its distinct burning flavor is certainly beyond the tolerance of most. Ingredients, water, arrogant bastard ale, tomato paste, vinegar, honey, lemon juice, evaporated cane juice, salt, garlic powder, crushed red peppers, capsaicin, jalapeno pepper powder, soybean oil, and xanthan gum. All right, so next we have uh, Stone's Arrogant Bastard Ale Jalapeno Heat Hot Sauce. Yes. And already I can I can smell it's more fragrant than than the tangerine. The one. tangerine. Oh yeah. yeah. Like I can smell that oh, yeah. peppery jalapeno yeah. uh, type stuff. And and I think this has got this is more of a tomato based one, and I can kind of smell the tomatoiness yep. to it. It's it's definitely better smelling. I it, really it like this is, one. It, this smells like a hot sauce. I know. I wanna I can't wait to try All this right, one. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm. Already. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. This is a good balance of sweet and heat. Yeah, because the other one, I tasted just sweet right away. Yeah. A lot of sweet, mm -hmm. and there's a little back end of heat. Yeah. This, there's a kick of sweet, but then a lot of decent heat. It's not like hot, almost hot. not yeah, not hot hot, but you get that heat almost right away. Mmm. 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 Good. <laughs> this is like a really good like chicken wing sauce. Excellent. Yeah, we're not doing anything to these wings. We're literally just tossing these wings in the hot sauce. So just as a wing sauce by itself. This is excellent. This is a very excellent. Mm -hmm. I, get, I can I can take more of these. Yeah, <laughs> but you need a, um, a nice mm. IPA afterwards. Mm. That's really good. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, bring on the next sauce. Ah. 
Double Bastard Ale Double Burn Habanero is a surprisingly well-balanced hot sauce to those fire eaters who love habanero. Ingredients, water, double bastard ale, tomato paste, vinegar, honey, lemon juice, evaporated cane juice, salt, garlic powder, crushed red peppers, capsaicin, habanero pepper powder, soybean oil, phantom dust. Okay, so we have Stone's Double Bastard, Double Burn Habanero Hot Sauce. Uh, this looks the reddest out of the yes. so far what we've yes. had. And it smells like the last one we just had. It, it smells, smells like, like the, it, it kind of even looks a little thicker though. A it does, pastier. a little more pastier, yeah. Um, all right, it's just... It's supposed to be hotter. This is a habanero one instead of a jalapeno, jalapeno one. Um, and I actually prefer the flavor of habanero over jalapeno. But we'll see what the heat level is. Let's give it. <laughs> it a shot. <laughs> hmm. I'm more tomatoey. Mm -hmm. I get way more tomato. More tomatoey and more vinegary. I I, I kind of preferred the flavor of the last one there. Mm. This kind of does just taste like hot spaghetti sauce. <laughs> yeah, very tomato. <laughs> Very tomato forward. Um, not as hot as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not. Actually, I think the other one was a little bit. Yeah, that little one had a little more kick, I thought. This one, I mean, this one might build a little more. I find like a lot of jalapeno sauces tend to build over time. Habanero? Yeah, habanero, that's right. Um, but yeah, no, this is, I mean, it's okay. I still like the other one better. Hmm. I like it. No, oh, yeah, I, I agree. I like the just the arrogant bastard. Jalapeno one. I thought that was a great balance of a little sweet and then nice, yep. nice heat. Yep, this is tomatoey, vinegary, and there's just a slight kind of burning pepperiness yeah. to it at the yeah. back end. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Still, I mean, okay, but yeah. Out of the first three, the Arrogant Bastard Ale one. Definitely the best, best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Bourbon barrel aged Arrogant Bastard hot sauce. Four chili hot sauce. Are you squeamish? Worried this bottle's content are too spicy or aggressively flavored for you? Ingredients, red wine vinegar, bourbon barrel aged arrogant bastard, cayenne pepper, water, tomato paste, molasses, red bell peppers, lemon juice, roasted red peppers, salt, garlic powder, roasted crushed red peppers, coriander, capsaicin, beetroot powder, cilantro, soybean oil, xanthan gum. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the next one, which is Bourbon Barrel Aged Arrogant Bastard Ale Hot Sauce. So we got a Bourbon Barrel Aged Hot Sauce. Yeah, all right, so I'm kind of hoping to taste some of that Bourbon Barrel Aged. I mean, yeah, so that far, with heat though, I don't know how well that would work. So far, the hot sauces that we had, I do not taste beer in any of those, to be no, honest. No, not really, but all of them do state that it is used and it, as That's a fair. primary ingredient yeah. too. Yeah. It's usually like the first or second yeah. ingredient is the beer. I, I think the heat might just be like masking over the beer flavor. Actually, the tangerine one. The tangerine one, to be fair, did taste like a lot of tangerine. Yeah. I didn't really get too much IPA flavor from it, but we'll see. This one, bourbon barrel aged, I'm kind of expecting it to be a little more, uh, I guess maybe some malty notes in maybe it, I would malty. think. Maybe malty. I was thinking maybe it might complement the smokiness, bring maybe out the smokiness. Maybe something, yeah. We'll give it a shot. Give it a shot. All right. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, smoky. Smoky for sure. Mm -hmm. Not really heat, though. No. There's a smoky, molasses -y sweetness to it. Not as hot as I thought it was going to no, be. No, this tastes like they just doused it with black pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not really... No. And it's not, there's no tomatoiness. There's, there's nothing, no. there's nothing a whole lot. Like you said, it's like a molasses-y smokiness. Right, I'm not getting any bourbon barrel aged either. Cayenne and a smoked paprika. Yeah, cayenne, smoked paprika. Like I'm getting a lot of that type of stuff too. But it's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Still, <clears throat> that first Arrogant Bastard one, that one's my favorite. That one's, so a, that one's so far the best. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, good. Mm -hmm. To the next. The next one. Crime hot sauce, made with crime ale and even more peppers. Extreme heat warning, more than simply an ingredient, Lucky Bastard Ale with freshly harvested jalapenos and black nagas, not to name a few, added then bourbon barrel aid. Ingredients, water, red wine vinegar, honey, tomato paste, moruga scorpion pepper, crime ale, roasted red peppers, red chilies, 
lemon juice, distilled vinegar, salt, garlic powder, capsaicin, xanthan gum, olive oil. All right, so next we have is Stone's Crime Hot Sauce made with their Crime Ale and even more peppers. Yeah, and this one's supposed to be the bigger, hotter. We're starting to sip it yeah, up. Yeah, we're getting the big boy sauces now. This has got like scorpion uh, peppers in there, which is kind of up there on the yeah. Scoville units if you've ever had it before. Um, yeah, I'm expecting this to be pretty hot. Yeah, we've had the the crime and the punishment beers before, yeah. and they got they are very hot. Heat. Yeah, yeah they so are quite hot. let's uh, take a look uh, at this. Let's try their sauce then. All right. Hmm. Mm. Actually, it just has some heat. I mean, it's it's not like burning, but flavor wise, it's actually pretty good. It's it's mild in that like tomato vinegar yeah. area. I just yeah. taste heat. Yeah, I do taste a lot of heat. Definitely hotter than the last one. Yes. Not unsurmountable though. It's not no. like killing me. It's not bowling me over. This is the one that I think the more you eat it, I get a the little, more it's gonna start building. I get a little build up in yeah. the back of it. I don't know. Mm. It's like, I can take one wing of this. I think, you know, that's the thing. I think if we were to like soak these yeah. in the hot sauce, we'd be like, yeah, this is yeah. very hot. Yeah. This is just an uh, okay, you know, mm. tossing of it. Right. Yeah, that, well, I, I can, oh. I can, my lips are getting yeah. a little tingly. I was, I was looking at the ingredient list and I think the scorpion pepper is like maybe fifth in line. So mm. it's not like high really up high up there. Okay. <clears throat> so this is de definitely hotter than, than some of the other ones, but not too terrible. No, and it's and balanced. Flavor, yeah, and flavor wise, it's pretty balanced. Yeah. It's a pretty balanced hot sauce. It's, yeah. um, like we've had some that are super tomatoey and some yeah. that are just smoky. This all around is decent. Yeah, it's good. Well, I want to have a beer with this. Yeah, of course, this is great with the beer. Actually, that kind of complimented. The oh man, that's sweetness. really that's good together. Really good. <laughs> yeah, quick tip: IPAs and hot wings go great together. Go great. It's one of my favorite things. Punishment hot sauce made with punishment ale and even more peppers. Extreme heat warning. Meant for the most daring of fire eaters, this seemingly simple condiment harnesses the hellish power of the 2013 Punish Double Bastard Ale with Caribbean Red Hots, Maruga Scorpion Peppers, and more added. Then bourbon barrel aged, providing a just dessert for any spice taunting masochist who dares engage it. Ingredients, water, Maruga scorpion peppers, red wine vinegar, honey, tomato paste, punishment ale, roasted red peppers, red chilies, lemon juice, distilled vinegar, capsaicin, salt, garlic powder, xanthan gum, olive oil. Okay, so here's the final stone sauce yep. we have here is their punishment right. hot sauce made with their punishment ale and even more peppers. This was probably one of the hottest beers I have ever yes, tried. Yes, that beer was insane. It was literally like drinking hot sauce. It was like drinking yeah. hot sauce. Now this one also has scorpion pepper, but it lists it as the second yes. ingredient. This has got a lot of scorpion pepper in it, so I'm expecting this to be really hot. Yeah. All right. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. All right. Mm. Yeah. There's some heat. Ooh, yeah, it's kicking in. It hits you right away. <clears throat> There's some tomatoiness to it, but it's, it's mostly the heat you taste right it's away. It's just the heat, yeah. It's <clears throat> it's just a hotter version of the last one. Right, that's exactly what it is. It tastes exactly like crime, but well, hotter. way hotter. Yeah, the, the crime one, I, I had no problem with this one. You know what? I want a little more. I want a little more. I want to just, I want to make, I want to feel it. That's a good idea. Hell. Mmm. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Hot but flavorful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very hot. <clears throat> but I don't <coughs> mind it as a sauce. No. Actually, yeah, I wouldn't have mind this a bit more coated. Mm-hmm. I, I, like I could have went, went more. Yeah. So, yes, definitely the hottest one, but... Still balanced. Still fairly balanced. If, if you can take a lot of heat, then you'll be fine with this. Yes. Uh, this is not like a challenge or anything like that. Yeah, this is not one of those challenge hot sauces no. that's going to do this. This is like, oh, I have a really good hot sauce mm -hmm. to mix with food or wings or yeah. steak. Yeah. This is going to probably be right up there. Yeah. With like, oh, this is a good one. It's very well balanced. It's not 
super vinegary, you know, like it's not that gift set you get at Christmas time that yeah. everyone, you know, throws at you that I like buying for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to try it with the beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Actually, that pairs quite well. It pairs. I mean, that's the thing. A lot of these hot sauces, yes, they say that they're made with stone beer, and I absolutely believe that they were. I don't taste it in the hot sauce that much, but it pairs quite well with their beer. It does, that we're, is. We're drinking Stone's, uh, what is this, uh, FML? Yeah. Fear Movie Lions, I guess. Uh, it's a hazy IPA from them. It pairs really good it with pairs, these wings. It pairs really well. Excellent. Every single time we had one of these wings, took a sip, bam, great pairing. Great pairing. Maybe that's what that is. It's more like these sauces will go great with our beers. Yeah, you know, that would have been something to do. It, it was kind of hard to get some of these beers. So I was like, oh, at least we gotta have a stone beer. But it would be interesting to have the beer with the with sauce. Hot that would have been fun. So. Yeah. Okay, so Stone's line of hot sauces. Actually, I, I kind of enjoyed them. Yeah, final thoughts. I, I would definitely say this, the Arrogant Bastard Ale, the jalapeno one, my absolute favorite. Yeah, mine too. Really good balance. Uh, it's got some heat to it. It's got some sweetness to it. You can literally just coat your wing with this and be fine. Yeah, it was good. You don't have to do anything else to it. Second favorite, I'm going to have to say the punishment. You're going to like the punishment one. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought it it was a little hot. I kind of like things a little, a little on the hotter side anyway. But I thought it had a fairly good balance. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree that the Arrogant Bastard jalapeno one tasted great. Probably the, the mm -hmm. best out of all six of them. Uh, if you're looking for the sweeter end of hot sauces, maybe more of just like that black pepper kick or something, that tangerine really yeah. was like a, a intro of hot sauces type yeah. flavor. Yeah, and, and of all of them that tasted similar to their beer, I would say this one probably tasted the, the closest, closest to, to the, the beer. beer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the bourbon barrel one tasted a bit more like barbecue sauce. It was just smoky. It was smoky and sweet, yeah. molasses-y. It tasted more like barbecue sauce. Yeah, right. to, to me. Um, Actually, the, the, the double one had that huge tomato flavor. Too. Yeah, that one was very tomato so, too. But... Um, yeah, so I would go probably the Arrogant Bastard. I'd probably agree with you, the, the Punishment. Crime was still good, but was so still good too, yeah. if you think the Punishment is too hot, just bring it down to Crime, Yep. and you'll be golden. Um, yeah, there was, there's no sweetness in this, where this one had a definite sweetness to it. Balance, yeah, a really good balance. balance. Yeah. So if you're looking to try some of Stone's hot sauces, this is what we think of them. Tell me if you bought any of them, what do you think of them? Would you try some stone hot sauces or hot sauces made with beer? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Remember hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media stuff. The links for those will be at the very bottom of the description. Would you ever have some hot sauces made with beer? Do you plan on trying some stone hot sauces? Let me know in the comments below. I will leave a link for all of these sauces for you to check out. See you guys. Bye.